My name is Colin Petrie. I'm a project engineer here at Kent Design Build, and today we're at the Bayou Church. Last time you were here, they were just cutting in dirt, preparing for the slab to be poured. As you can see, we've made a lot of progress since then, so let's go check it out. We just walked into what's called Area A, which is the new theater space. This space is going to be used as an overflow for the main auditorium, as well as a secondary event venue for the church to use. As you can see, this is the new stage that they're putting down in the theater. They're sheathing it right now with plywood, and uh, they've built up the framing for two storage rooms that are also adjacent to the theater in order to store different things that they use for their services. So now we're walking into the lobby area. This is going to be a large gathering space for the Bayou Church for their members to interact and gather before their services and ministry events. Behind me is going to be a coffee bar. And to the left right here behind the coffee bar where you see these storefront systems is there's going to be a large patio area for members of the Bayou Church to gather and have a nice outdoor space to enjoy on beautiful days like today. Behind me where you see the sheetrock going up, this is the entrance to the existing auditorium. So this is actually where members will be able to enter the existing space through the lobby area where everyone is gathered before services. You can see the existing church wall behind that and the brick that stood on the exterior of the building for over 20 years. To the right here is going to be the main entrance to the church. This space is going to have a large amount of glass in it, letting in a lot of natural light. And you can see a lot of structural steel that's exposed as well, giving it a really nice industrial look. As we move along through the lobby, you can see to my right here, this is the existing entrance to the commons. This will be opened up into the new lobby area and provide even more gathering spaces before and after services. A cool part about this project is we're tying in a significant portion of a building into an already large building. And there's challenges that come with that, but our superintendent Lance has over 50 years in construction. We worked with our engineers and architects to find the best way to tie in this new building to the old building. It's come out great, as you can see. Moving from the new lobby area into the existing commons area, we can see some of our renovation work has already started. Pouring back concrete on the floor drain, as well as installing a new wall. Working deeper into the church now, into area C behind me, this is where all the ministry's classroom spaces are going to be. So they'll be using these for K through fifth grade classrooms. Each classroom includes a stage and sound booth. You can see we've made significant progress. Most of the walls are already primed up, taped and floated, and the stage has been built at the front as well. Our electrical and sound contractors have been spending a lot of time in these spaces in order to pull all the wire needed to wire up the sound booth, as well as a stage behind us with lighting and other sound equipment. At the front entrance here, as you can see down into my left, we have these large footings. These footings are going to be the foundation for the canopy that's going to sit here at the entrance of the church. The slab on this project is a little over 34,000 square feet, so it is a large footprint of a building. To the right of me, you can see our masons are finishing up on the uh, exterior brick facade. Uh, you can see they're tying in the new brick into the existing brick, and it's a pretty good match. That straight vertical line that you see to the left of me, that's the transition between the old church structure and the new structure, everything to the right of that. Our masons have done a great job on matching the brick to the existing church color and also making sure that the existing color and this new brick will age together and look uniform over time. One of the largest parts of this project that was pretty cool to witness was the erection of this monumental sign that you can see up and to the left of me. Now, this was the largest piece of steel that we raised on the project and it stands as a prominent foundation for the Bayou Church's sign that will let everybody on Kali Saloom and the surrounding area know that this is the Bayou Church.